Hello everyone. In this video, we will dive into 40 SASE Cloud Native Secure Private Access Use Case based on SD-WAN. 40 SASE flexible ZTNA offering support all TCP and UDP based applications. The network topology used for this demo include 4 40 SASE points of presence where each POP is connected to the two SD-WAN hub 40 gates within AWS. The remote user is connected to the nearest San Jose POP utilizing the 40 client endpoint agent. As shown, within an SD-WAN deployment, each 40 SASE point of presence acts as a spoke and steer private application traffic on the best available path. All the SD-WAN related configuration is done under secure private access tab within 40 SASE Cloud Console. As you can see, we have two service connections from each 40 SASE point of presence to the primary and the backup data centers within AWS. Secure private access configuration requires minimal administrative effort, where one needs to provide few parameters like BGP router ID subnet, autonomous system number, choose path selection criteria, which can be link quality or the received BGP MED value, and lastly, provide an IP address to monitor service connections. 40 SASE automatically take care of IPsec VPN, BGP, and SD-WAN rule configuration in the background. Manual path selection is also supported from each 40 SASE point of presence. We can assign different priority to each service connection across different POPs, and as such, the service connection with the highest priority within a given POP is used for egress traffic. Here, we can also check status of each tunnel connecting the 40 SASE point of presence with the SD-WAN hubs. In this demo, we will be using an endpoint connected to San Jose POP. So let's quickly check the link quality of the service connection from San Jose POP to the primary and backup data centers. As seen, service connection to the primary data center is preferred path because of the low latency and jitter values. With that, Let's try to browse to one of the web server on the private subnet within an AWS VPC. And here you can notice that we are accessing a web server instance from the North California AWS region. Now let's move on to this server and start WAN emulator to introduce latency and simulate packet drop. Switching back, let's refresh the browser tab and immediately you can notice that our connection has seamlessly transitioned to a different web server instance hosted on North Virginia region. This smooth transition is attributed to the SD-WAN functionality inherently available within each 40 SASE point of presence. Moving back to 40 SASE console, let's verify the link statistics for the service connection between San Jose POP and the primary data center. As expected, latency, jitter, and packet loss values have gone up in comparison to the service connection to the backup data center which justifies the traffic steering behavior. To wrap up, it's worth highlighting that 40 SASE point of presence acting as a SD-WAN spoke provide full mesh connectivity based on auto discovery VPN, which eliminates the need to set up dedicated IPsec tunnels between the sites. The SD-WAN and AD VPN support at each 40 SASE POP simplifies the network architecture, enhances operational efficiency, and streamlines the entire connectivity process. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching.